Okay, I'm making another video. I've made some changes. I'm still working with the uh, Raspberry Pi 2, which is running a RTL TSP server, TCP server, I'm sorry. And I've made an addition here. I have a, uh, a standalone Netgear Wi Fi tower, which works both G and N, so it's a fast Wi Fi adapter. And it has its own power source, so the Raspberry Pi does not have to power it. It could be powered through the USB port, but the Raspberry Pi is a little limited on power it can supply through that USB chain. And over here we have a USB hub, which is also self-powered. And I need that to power this new electric uh, RTL DVB uh, USB dongle because it actually takes quite a little bit of power to run it. And then of course it goes on out of here to the antenna. And then my computer that's running the software that makes the display is actually connected to this telephone. And this telephone is part of the high speed multimedia mesh network which is an amateur radio network. And this particular router up here is part of the high-speed multimedia mesh network. Now that telephone is plugged into the switch on the back of that. And this is also plugged in to a DSL router uh, that's connected to the local internet service provider that provides a good internet service. So that's the gateway to the high-speed multimedia mesh network. So with all of this gear I'm still managing to make this work. And in order to get this to run decently over Wi-Fi, I had to reduce my bandwidth from about 2 uh, megahertz down to 300,000 kilohertz. Let's see, how did that work? Now, 300,000 hertz, which would be 300 kilohertz, or 0.3 megahertz. So I've really reduced the bandwidth. But actually it makes it a little easier to tune. As you can see look, looking at this weather station, I have a fairly wide line that I can tune to. And it's not that hard for me to see what my, my audio bandwidth is. So anyway, for my ham buddies, that's further adventures with the RTL DVB dongle streaming the audio IQ signal over the network, and in this case over a Wi-Fi network to a router and then back to a high-speed multimedia mesh node using a Category 5 cable in this case to make that connection. But the Raspberry Pi is using Wi-Fi back to that DSL router. So kind of a convoluted network, but working and working Wi-Fi. So I thought that was kind of cool.